BDP Industries is a premier filtration supplier with over 25 years of experience and hundreds of installations throughout the world. This product video will present the company's 3DP belt press. The slurry enters the system at the bottom of the vertical conditioning and distributor tank. The tank's upflow V configuration causes the slurry to spread evenly to the full belt width by the time it reaches the distribution trough at the top of the tank. The cross-sectional depth of the tank is designed based on the nominal flow rate for each project needed to provide a suitable upflow velocity that will maintain the slurry density and solids concentration. The distribution trough at the top of the distributor tank is U-shaped in cross-section with an overflow smooth weir on the discharge side. Inside the weir trough is a six-blade paddle wheel constructed of rubber sheets that function like a rotary valve, controlling the rate of discharge from the distributor tank. The rotating paddle wheel sweeps slurry over the weir and onto the filter belt. The sweeping rotary action ensures continuous, uniform thickness of the slurry over the full width of the filter belt. The gravity zone has a separate filter belt drive from the pressure zone. This allows independent belt speed control for both zones. Our former press, which, which many of the conventional belt filter presses are, um, the gravity section and the pressure section are all one. Uh, you don't have the ability to in control them independently, so whatever speed you have to set it at for either the gravity deck optimization or the pressure deck really sets your fate for the other. This, you can really control the gravity deck section, which we found seems to be the, the, the hinge pin of how well the press operates. The unit is capable of being configured to allow operation as a thickener to thicken sludge prior to digestion during one shift and dewatering digested sludge on another shift. The advantage to the dual mode is that one unit can both thicken and dewater, saving building size and capital equipment costs. With most wedge zone layouts, the belt paths are straight forming a triangle configuration when viewed from the side. If the wedge entry distance between the belts is one inch and the operating cake thickness is three-eighths inch, the belts don't converge and place pressure on the cake until two-thirds of the overall length. Therefore, two-thirds of the zone is ineffective. As you can see from the side view of the Model 3DP, the belt path is curved by means of a curved support deck design. This forces the two belts to converge, immediately placing expressive pressure on the filter cake. As a result, the entire length of the wedge zone is effective at placing pressure on the cake. A key feature of the vertical arrangement of the rolls in the pressure zone is filtrate diversion pans between all rolls that keep expressed filtrate from falling on adjacent rolls. As you can see, filtrate is diverted around the adjacent rolls and falls into the bottom collection pan. With conventional horizontal roll arrangements, diversion pans are not possible. Therefore, filtrate runs along the filter cloth between rolls where it is reabsorbed back into the cake. As you can see, BDP's overall design places the gravity zone at waist level to the operator, with the unit sitting at ground level, and yet the discharge height is adequate for the conveyor to be installed underneath. This eliminates the need for extra platforms and stairs, and allows better accessibility for operators and maintenance staff, while significantly lowering installation costs. Regarding the quality and performance of the equipment, I would say that um, we expect it to be here for a long time. And, and uh, the performance itself, without question, exceeds the, the equipment performance that we had. I can honestly say that um, outside of replacing a belt, I think in two years, I don't think we've had any breakdown of the equipment since it's been installed. And our previous equipment, I don't think we could last two weeks without it breaking down. Uh, so again, 
Um, you can say what you want, but the proof's in the pudding and the fact that we have performance data that show that it is performing outstanding. BDP are a fine organization, great company, I've nothing but a pleasure working with them, professional. They put out a fantastic product, that's the whole key. If they didn't have a good product, we wouldn't be doing business with them. In fact, we have one on site right now at Bell Press, and we're getting another one. That's how much we like them. We we're pressing sometimes three, four, five days a week. This is a one meter press, and we now can press one day a week, maybe two. It's, it's a phenomenal improvement. We're pleased with the outcome. Overall, uh, with, the tech, with the belt press technology, I'm very impressed. It, it accomplishes what we need to do. It, everything runs from management side very seamlessly, um, very efficiently, very effectively and I'm very happy overall with the way it was installed and operated.